Hey guys, um, this video here today is going to be um, on how to enable the developer console in Dragon Age Origins for PC. Uh, and the reason for this is going to be so we can access the quest content for uh, the quest Joan's Intention, which is a bugged quest in Dragon Age Origins. And normally you are not allowed to do it because the encounter never shows up. So I'm going to go through the steps on how to enable the console and then we'll jump in the game and I'll show you how to access the encounter so you can complete that quest if you're a completionist like me and you just like to have everything done. Um, first off, the uh, beginning part of the video here is going to be addressing the Steam install. Uh, this can also be for a standalone, but there is an easier way to do a standalone. Um, what you need to do to begin with you need to find your Dragon Age uh, install folder. For me, it's on my uh, folder here uh, under my zip drive, which is a solid state, which I use for my games. Um, if you're on Steam, it's going to be under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dragon Age, Ultimate Edition. Well, for me, but you may have the regular edition. Uh, and then under Data. And what you're looking for here is an XML document called Dragon Age Origins Launcher. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit one line of code in the launcher and um, change it to enable developer console. So what you do is right click and we're going to edit. And you can see here it's kind of confusing. Um, it seems to be pretty difficult to find what you're looking for. So what you need to do is you need to uh, locate the original line of code. I already have it open here and I'll post the original line that you're looking to alter in my video description. Copy that and then we're going to control F and we're going to try to find uh, the text in the finder here. So I pasted the original line, find, alright there it is, close. And then we're going to pull up the altered line which is this one here and we're going to paste where that one was originally and we're going to file save and that's it, it's saved and that's um, all you need to do for the Steam version in order to, to enable the console <clears throat> and if you have uh, a regular copy like a standalone not on Steam you can go to your Dragon Age folder, like normal, like I did here, and then under bin ship folder, you have DA Origins, uh, which is the executable for the game itself, and you can uh, right click, create shortcut, or you can do what I do, which is just right click drag, and that allows you to make a quick shortcut there. And what you need to do after that is right click, properties, and add dash enable developer console like that and it'll apply OK so that is if you do not have Steam you can launch the game this way and it'll enable the console it's a little easier and um, the original way will still work for you but if you have Steam this will not work for you so you have to edit the XML file like I should and delete that. Okay, so now that we have the uh, developer console enabled, you just need to launch Dragon Age um, and get in the game. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off here and enter in. I'm going to use Fraps to record it. It uh, has a better frame rate in games than the one I'm using right here to record my desktop. So uh, I will cut the video off here and pick it up one sec. Alright guys, I'm uh, back in game here, and I'm going to show you how to finish this out. So now we have our developer console enabled, what you're going to do is load your game. I have one here before I've completed the quest. And um, we're going to go ahead and get to Joan, and I'll show you the process on how to do that. Uh, the quest itself is under the Channers board. Jones intention here. Now you can only get this quest if you f 
freed Joan from Arl Eamon's prison in his castle, or if you had him pardoned at the end of that um, encounter with Arl Eamon where you have to save him. So he has to be set free, otherwise you will never get this quest. Not that it really matters because it's bugged, but if you're going through all the trouble with me here, then uh, maybe it does matter because we're going to complete it. So yeah, this is the uh, quest here. <coughs> And uh, let me level up my people real quick. Let's do some decks, some more power. Give her max ranger. Now, um, one thing I like to uh, do is go to an area that has the least amount of graphics. Uh, I guess this actually has quite a bit going on, but I like to stare at the ground. Um, this way it doesn't have to render much while it's processing the console. Uh, I don't know if this is necessary, but for me it is. Uh, so anyways, you need to be in an area, as you can see here, on the map, that you have your party assembled, which I do, like the Frostback Mountains is where I'm at, and you can transport to anywhere on the map. This is important. You don't want to be in the party camp, and you don't want to be somewhere where the map is gray. But if you meet this criteria, we can go ahead and do this. Now, to enable the console, you hit tilde, which is on the left, which is the left key from the number one on your keyboard. So tilde, and you'll notice nothing's changed. It's because the console is invisible, but you'll see the character map pull up here when I start typing. So in order to uh, pull up our random encounter with Joan, you need to type this in run script, one word, r-u-n-s-c-r-i-p-t space z-z -Z underscore ran r-a-n underscore debug d-e-b-u-g enter okay so here it's prompted us with the menu <coughs> and uh, once the character map dissolves away it says which random encounter type do you want to run uh, you can mess around with these if you'd like but for Joan in particular we want forest and we want Joan and once we hit number four we're going to go ahead and instantly transport to the uh, encounter so here we go Joan I'm gonna load in here and begin the quest pretty much immediately let's go ahead and get these guys going your direction mm -hmm. You can see here, uh, the encounter is quickly turning into a uh, white wolves attack. Uh, the key to this encounter is that you need to have Joan survive. So make sure that you There's a, uh, Barriskarn? <laughs> and we're just gonna finish up. It's pretty easy to get the counter. Again, just make sure Joan lives. Uh, you! It's you again! Please don't do anything to me. I've only been trying to help. Don't be scaring good Master Laven. He saved us three times over. Okay, so our choices for the quest is to either let him walk away, which is option one, you let him leave. Option two is kind of like an evil tone, but you still let him leave. And option three is you kill him, obviously. All three complete the quest, but for me, I'm going to let Joan live because he's, he seems like a pretty nice guy. He just is kind of careless, I guess, and uh, gets into a lot of trouble, but his mind and heart's in the right place. <laughs> So let him Thank let you, him Warden. Go. I will, I swear to you. Everyone, let's move. The Warden has more important matters to attend to. Warden? Uh, that kind of sounded creepy when that lady said Warden. Warden? Okay. Yeah, another cool thing about John is he is a main character in the uh, Mage Origin story, which you will not know unless you were to do it. Uh, so in the area, you have a couple crafting uh, plants, you have a chest that you can unlock, and the other glitch here is um, this death root plant. This is actually, I don't know if this glitched or just poor environmental planting, <laughs> but you can't actually Delighted. this. 
it's completely blocked by this tree. So I guess I can see why they cut this. Um, or maybe they just forgot about it. Because the quest is still in the game, so it seems like they more or less just forgot to finish it, complete it. You'd think they would have done it in an update, but they didn't. Um, so yeah, now we've done that. You can easily port to uh, anywhere in the map you'd like. As in, you can see our Joan uh, encounter now has a spot on the map as we've completed it. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Hopefully uh, you're able to complete this quest on your own now. And once you're done, if you want to disable the uh, developer console, just undo the steps you did in the beginning. So either editing the XML file or uh, changing the shortcut path. And just for the sake of curiosity. What's in there? Ice bolt. Yeah, not bad. Alright. Alright, guys. Well, uh, hopefully uh, you've learned something out of this, and until uh, next time.